Hello and welcome to building block number three in our personal development course. Um, today we're going to look at a self-care toolbox. When I was 16 and I got my driver's license, my father, first of all, before I drove out of the driveway for the very first time in the family car, made sure that I had some essential skills. So the first thing that he taught me how to do was to change a tire. He taught me how to check the oil. He taught me how to check for windshield wiper fluid. And in my trunk of my car, he put a box. And in that, there was a blanket, a candle, um, some little reflectors, and some tools. So in case I met with disaster somewhere along my travels, I had a toolkit with me that would essentially help me um, be able to war off whatever disaster came my way. We lived out in the country, so it was about a 15 minute drive into town. Part of that was on relatively, you know, unpopulated gravel roads. So he wanted to make sure before I left the driveway that I, I was equipped to be able to handle uh, whatever might, have, might come my way. So what we're looking at now is kind of a toolkit that will help you handle some disasters that might come your way. Now, my dad didn't wait until I had a flat tire to teach me how to change one. And he didn't wait until I had run the car dry of oil before he taught me how to check it. And he didn't wait until I was freezing on the side of the road to mention that maybe I might need a blanket and a candle. So having these things ahead of time is actually very valuable. Your life might be going great right now and you might think, I don't need a toolkit for in case I need some self-care or I'm met with disaster or I'm having an emotional breakdown and I don't know what to do. This is the best time to learn these skills and this is the best time to create a self-care toolkit when you don't need one. Okay, so what exactly is a self-care toolkit? It's something that you put together that has things in it that actually help you feel better, get through a slump, handle um, life disasters. So let me show you mine. So you can put this in whatever you want. It can be an empty shoebox. It can be a Safeway bag. I don't care. Personally, I have mine in this box. It says, Explore Your World. Um, one of my passions is travel, so of course this seems fitting. I bought it at um, Michael's, and so it holds quite a bit of stuff. Okay, so this is the box. Now inside what I put are things that speak to my soul, and that's what you want to put in yours. You want things that speak to your soul, because when you're having a moment where, say, you're not hitting your business goals, or something personal has just happened or you know a friend attacks you <laughs> on social media and says mean things about you whatever when you have that moment where you're just like my soul is hurting you need something to build it back up okay so here's some of the things I have in mind first of all I have personal affirmations and we're going to talk about those a little bit later how to write them and how to create them I also have some favorite quotes. This one is, um, I believe in the sun even when it's not shining. I believe in love even when I don't feel it. And I believe in God even when he is silent. I also have my favorite poem. It's If by Rublar Kipling. Um, if you can keep your head when all about you is losing theirs and blaming it on you. And if you can trust yourself when all men doubt you but make allowance for their doubting too. And on it goes, I recommend Googling it. It is my favorite um, piece of literature ever written. Um, I also have a favorite song, I Hope You Dance, and another favorite song, which is called My Fight Song. Okay, I have um, my why. They always talk about having a why, and um, my why has, hasn't changed <laughs> in years. Um, but my why is, it's a picture of myself and my daughter. Um, my why has always been to be an example and a role model for my daughter and that extends into being an example and a role model and a good leader to the women that I work with in Mary Kay. I'm passionate about that and that's something that I want to make sure that I 
live out every single day of my life with integrity and honesty and um, leadership. Okay, I also have this. This is actually something you ha can hang on your door and it says keep calm and take a bath because we all know that a whole lot can um, de-stress our soul when we simply jump into a tub. Um, also in there I have a dream book. So this is just a book of goals and dreams and it's really simple. There's not a lot of words. It's just basically pictures of things in my life that speak to me. So this is just a picture of something dancing. Dancing was something that I always loved, still love. Um, it says the journey between who you once were and who you are becoming is the dance of life. And then career goals, fitness goals, right? I know, I would love that to be my body. Um, and then things I'm passionate about, cooking. Love cooking, designer clothes, and then decorating houses, <laughs> my own. Um, travel, travel to tropical places. And so anyway, so those are pictures that are in my book. I also have a map of Paris because that was a long time goal of mine that we actually got to do. And then I have um, a kind of a devotional inspirational book and it has 30 ways to live your best life. And it's just like little one page blurbs and inspirational poems. And then I have a little rock that someone gave me one time. I have no idea who gave it to me, but it says success. And so anyway, so these are things that speak to my soul. So what it does is you want something that just basically gets you grounded back into who you are. So when the outside world feels crazy and when things are just not going how you want it to go or how you pictured, sometimes we have life pictures and in our mind and we think that we're only going to be happy if things turn out this way and they don't. And so creating a self-care toolkit is something that's just meant to ground you and it's a place that you can go that you can just whatever, just pull it out, sit on your bed, look through it and just have things in there that feed your soul. And it's something that I recommend everyone having a toolkit. And so because it's Friday and we're not going to have another lesson until Monday, you have all weekend to put together your self-care toolkit. I'm going to put a list below of all the things that I have in mind. And I'll give you a couple other ideas of things that you can put into yours. Um, a favorite CD, your favorite brand of tea, your favorite chocolate bar. That doesn't work for me because I just keep eating it. I'll never save it for a bad day. I'll just eat it on any day. But whatever it is, create yourself a self-care toolkit. And when a crisis hits, you're going to be really glad that you have one. Okay, so that's your challenge for the day. I'm going to put our notes below. Have a great day.